Bah, black sheep customs, yes. My friends, I know we're all in the RC hobby together and we appreciate creativity and cage building has taken off like crazy. My friend Curtis Landry runs Black Sheep Customs and so this piece of artwork came up for sale and I said I had to have it. I wanted to put it on the show, give him a bit of exposure. I'm going to put his Facebook link uh, in the video description box below so you guys can check out some of his work and some of his upcoming cage builds. Uh, but you know, I remember I've built or I've not built, I've bought cages before. I'd love to learn how to braise and get in there and even folks like David Jr. and some of the other folks we've had on the show they're getting really really good but Curtis has a certain type of style to his rig that I love really light really low down this one's actually for a wraith transmission plate on the bottom you can see that you can pretty much put any kind of axle or build your RC around this now this might be a little bit on the advanced side for some people some of the hobbyists that are out there that like to run ready to run vehicles and that's cool too even if you have a ready to run vehicle, and just for example, even though this is a custom Wraith, you can get Wraiths that are RTR, right? Nice looking Wraith. I do have a few videos of this one. Uh, and this is one of the ones I was thinking about converting this over. Even though it's a beautiful red, the decals are awesome, but you know, RCs are made to be changed and I don't mind doing that. So when I had uh, the chance to get this and to do a show for you guys on upgrading, I thought I would do that. Uh, and when I found out I could get Curtis Landry's uh, G-Made uh, Sawback, that's what this body actually used to be. Uh, and a cage built for th this modded bod, uh, uh, hands down, I was in. So I picked it up, cost me you know, quite a bit. Currencies are different, so I hate saying how much it is because as the world changes, the value of currency always changes. But for Canadian, I paid about 300 bucks. American, you're probably looking at about 220 at the time of this filming. And around the world, you guys can guess whatever it is in your own currencies. But that's what I pay for a good piece of artwork. Uh, so looking at this, I have actually, check it out. Look at the headlights, just the way. <laughs> He says he gets old bodies and builds those cages and gets his creativity and inspiration from those bods. Just like any good fabricator, hey? You've got an idea in your head, you wanna get it out to the world or you wanna get it out and just let that creativity flow. That's why most of us are in the RC hobby. All right, first thing I have to do is break down the wraith that I am going to use as a sacrificial RC. Yes, it is quite beautiful, but on the other hand, I wouldn't mind to get rid of this wraith cage. It's very heavy on top and it rolls a lot. Not saying this new one won't either, but change is good. In my last build video series, people were asking me, where I got these long bits? The answer is davesmotors.com online. So with the motor and transmission plate down, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tires. It'll just be easier to work with these axles and bottom motor plate if the tires are removed. One, this is a cross wrench, it's quite large. I can't remember which RC I got this with, but you can check for them on eBay. Lots of people part out RCs to make money on eBay. And, oh, and it's one of the places I actually go and get parts. That was my drill on the floor. <laughs> Tire number two. Now, I don't think I'm gonna go with these rims and tires with this new cage. The chrome and red just won't go with the black. We've already passed the Christmas season. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they will, but I do have a better tire choice, I think, but we'll see. These are Vanquish axles that are on here. Uh, same with all the links and everything else. Upgraded big bore Proline shocks. These are all things that are good to go. And I probably will switch over to an MOA kit eventually, um, but I wouldn't mind just getting this cage, seeing how it operates, seeing how the roll level is on it, and if it can handle any speed. 
wheel speed is always essential for me when I'm trying to go out on the trail. The slow crawl is also appreciated as well. Let's see here, last one. These are the uh, axial rip saw tires that actually came with the Wraith. They still may come with the Wraith. Uh, I just know that that's the ones that these are. And they're quite a very tall tire, which is good, but they can also have quite a bit of a roll to the bottom if you don't have really good foams in them. And these aren't memory foams. These are just the stock, you know, run of the mill foams. So you got quite a bit of play in there. That's no problem. I also like air filled tires as some of the viewers of the show have seen before. You can just basically get bead locks and you can buy them from G made. If you want your inside wheels to be air filled, they actually come with uh, a, a small um, area to put a, a pump into and pump up the pressure, or you can get just regular bead locks, ones that can accept air and just put a little grommet in there and you can fill up and pressurize your tire, which is quite helpful. Just removing the hex adapters and the pins. Got all four right up. Okay, just removing the hex adapters and the pins using my CalRC pit map, which I got at CalRC.com. Uh, it's magnetic, which is good because it keeps all the screws and everything in place, which is very helpful. Okay, next up is going to be the suspension links. Well, not the suspension links, but the actual suspension shocks themselves. So we'll get in there and unscrew those. Which bit is it? Perfect. All right, so this is where I'm gonna actually make a change. Uh, this is running the ballistic setup that's in here, and it, it's cool, it runs well, it does really good. But the problem is, is that it makes that damn irritating high-pitched noise when I'm operating it, and I hate that in RC. I, I, I love a, a nice, good machine, and I'm not you know sl sliding any of the other electronics that are out there, but I don't want an irritating nails on a chalkboard squeal as I'm trying to crawl along so i'm going to pull this system out uh keep it here at the shop for you know somebody else that comes here that needs it they blow it in the water or whatever and then they can just have this one <laughs> so being a teakin man i'm going to swap this out for a better system uh, but that's the next move is for me just to remove these right out of the gate very nice these screws are getting old part of the reason to switch this over anyway the decal has been ripped up quite a bit. Still looks pretty good though. There we are. Just carefully separating all the wires here, ensuring that we get everything out properly without wrecking anything so other people can enjoy it in the future. Let's see, there we go. Easy removal of this brushless. What are we looking at? It is a 13.5 crawler combo. Very nice. Here's a look at what I'm left with. So the front steering assembly, everything is complete. This is the bonus of buying a drop-in cage. You can kind of take your existing RC and switch it over to something that you like or kind of beef it up. So those are MIP drive shafts. It is an aluminum uh, skid plate on the bottom. The big bore shocks, the links are good to go and the steering setup is also good to go. The only disappointment I have apart from this long unnecessary uh, uh, screw I have right there is uh, I don't have a waterproof servo. <gasps> yeah, I used them all up in my last quarter scale build. So I've got some on order. They're just in transit right now. So we're gonna have to keep that one. But let's go ahead and look at the new uh, Black Sheep Customs cage. Let's put it on. Okay, so I'm just going in with some silicone spray just to help the two metals come together in a little easier fashion. Nice. Here's where it's gonna get a little bit on the tedious side for me, trying to place these two together. Make sure it lines up. There we go, that actually wasn't too bad. The silicone spray totally helps. 
That was from uh, Cal RC as well. They have a lot of maintenance stuff. So that's where I got the pit mat. Um, and you know what? That cage dropped right in there. That was just that easy. Check it out. Okay, let's bring it in the chair. I'm gonna sit down, see what I got with these longer screws. Bye, I missed. Okay, problem for mod number one, putting the cage on this aluminum plate. The aluminum plate actually has a lip on it right here. This lip to line up with these holes. See, I bet you he used a plastic one and either it didn't come with it or he just simply shaved it off. But that means I'm gonna have to cut this one off. So time to go to the vise. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, now that the uh, floor plate is in and secure, I'm gonna go ahead and mount up these shocks. Now, I could use uh, the original screws that it came with, but unfortunately, the threads, <laughs> paint on my finger, the threads are too aggressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a longer threaded screw and a lock nut on the other side because this isn't a plastic cage, of course, and these screws were meant and intended for plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to change up my plan a little bit, but that's all right. That's part of our C. Make sure to put the spacer on the inside. Not over tighten these. Perfect. Line it up. In it goes. Just put this last one in place as long as I can get it threaded through that grommet. Come on. Sweet. Where's that little spacer gone? Right in front of me. So let's talk about these wheels for a second. These are the older style RC four wheel drive outcroppers crawling tire. Look at the tread on that, hey? Pretty awesome. Uh, same 12 mil hex adapter on the inside. That's why I wanted to do these ones up for sure. Do I have any grub screws in these? I don't think so. Looks like I'm gonna have to do that off camera. Same with the uh, electronics. I've done electronics on camera so many times. Uh, plenty of tutorials out there so I can just putter along. Who knows, maybe I will do it on camera. I don't know. You guys can stay tuned if you are subscribed and then that way you won't miss it. Uh, let's go ahead and mount these tires up. Take this one first, making sure the tread pattern is the same, but it's going to be no matter what. One, make sure to tighten this up before I move forward. Don't want to lose the pins out of those hex adapters. Number two, get that lock nut on there. Flip it around, put in the pin. And the 12 mil and the tire. Tighten it up. A little bit of a Frankenstein truck, I like that. Built from all different types of pieces. Yeah, so if I bolt it up, like he's cut it and modded it, if I bolt it up in the spots that he 
has set out and already these screw holes are in the cage. I think it'll look pretty awesome. This color of green, really, I haven't had one of these before and I really dig it. I think it looks good. So I'll try to have these panels in. This truly is what a roller is. I know there's a lot of new people to the show all the time, daily in fact. So if you're new to the hobby and you keep hearing me say roller and you're not sure of what I mean, see this gear on the inside. That's a better view here. Get in there and have a good look at it. That is the spur gear. A lot of senior hobbyists already know this. This is actually where the pinion from the motor goes up against and actually turns the transmission for it to roll back and forth. But without a motor in ESC, that's simply what this machine is, a roller. So there, my, my shout out to Curtis Landry at, at Black Sheep Customs. Bro, thanks a lot for letting me buy one of your pieces of uh, artwork here, RC artwork. I'm glad to have it. Uh, I'm glad to show it off to the people that are out there. Yeah, I had to modify my bottom aluminum skid plate, but who cares, man? This thing's gonna get scratched up like crazy anyway. This is how easy it is to drop in a well-built cage on a Wraith or another type of vehicle. And now we've got a killer rock bouncer. So I'm gonna have to do some more work on it. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it on camera or off camera, but if you guys are subscribed, if you wanna let me know with the like clicks or comments below, if you want me to do that on camera, I can do that for you. And make sure to get yourself some RC. Hopefully this has entertained you today and it's inspired you to get out, be creative, meet some new people, get some fresh air, and enjoy a very cool hobby. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.